Hey YouTube, this is John Dag JD Constriction here. I wanted to show you guys um, a video of how my season's going so far. Uh, I've got five clutches in the incubator. The first one's due the 15th, approximately, of next month, so that's really exciting. And actually, it's a lot of a lot of exanthic stuff. I've got a spider head exanthic bred to a couple exanthic clutches due, so should have some spider exanthics next month. Also, a uh, pastel exanthic bred to a head exanthic female, so more pastel exanthic. So that's really, really cool. This female, this is a yellow belly female, and I think you can see it pretty well in here. You can see the little bit of the tail suck, and then she's really swollen through her middle there. Um, she was really propped up on it before I went and grabbed the video camera so I could take a video for you guys. But she's, she's swollen as can be. Um, she's ovulating right now, which is a really exciting project for me because this female here was bred by a Spectre or Whirlwind male. So I've got a hopefully a, you know a one in four shot at producing a Super Stripe. So last year she gave me seven good eggs. I'm hoping for another seven this year. Um, she seemed to be palpating really well, so I'm really happy with this project turning out. Another exciting one that I want to show you guys is. I've got two pastel females. These are some pretty knockout lemon pastel females that I produced myself back in 07 that are head exanthic. They were uh, also bred by my spider head exanthic and they're actually past their prelay shed. So we're just kind of waiting on these eggs to drop out of these girls. And I'm uh, really hoping the odds are with me and I end up hitting on a, uh, a lemon pastel bumblebee exanthic. So combination of the exanthic gene, pastel gene, and the spider gene. Way cool project to get it into and definitely something I think will really help my odds of producing an exanthic killer bee and as well as other things down the line. So I'm really excited to see if I hit on the 1 in 16 odds with these girls. Um, I've got one more shot with a pastel het female. She's an 08 that's just a monster. Um, she's got huge follicles. I'm just praying she ovulates for me and I get eggs out of her. Last thing I want to show you guys, just because I think it's it's really cool, is this ivory female. Um, she's actually at, past her prelay shed, just like the other two, and uh, she was bred by the pastel exanthic. I had a few people ask, well, why didn't you breed the specter to an ivory and have a better shot at super stripes? Well, I, I'm really thinking down the line here, and I bred the pastel exanthic to her in hopes of hitting on some pastel yellow belly head exanthics and some yellow belly head exanthics, obviously, um, to hold them back. And then I also bred my Spectre to a exanthic female. So what I'm kind of thinking is uh, a Spectre head exanthic bred to a yellow belly head exanthic or a pastel yellow belly head exanthic makes some pretty sweet looking exanthic super stripes and pastel exanthic super stripes down the line. So another really fun project to be working with. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I know I've been away for a while, but breeding season's been busy, and getting rid of the last of my own eyes has also been keeping me pretty busy. Like I said, can't wait until middle of next month when I start getting clutches hatching and get to really see some cool crosses coming out that I've never hatched before. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later.